say you. Kids, uh, according to statisticians, at some point, most of us were one of them. And now that we're bigger and smarter, it's our job to teach children things we know. That's why I do a segment on this show where I answer actual questions from actual kids to give their actual parents just an actual break. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've had a hard time coming up with a good name for the segment. We started out calling it Stephen Takes Your Kids and then <laughs> switched to Stephen's Re-Education Camp. But <laughs> both of those didn't feel right. So this time I told my team I wanted to take the high road and just talk to some little kids. So I'm happy to say it's now time for... These Hi, kids. I'm Steven, and I can answer any question. How did I get so smart? It's simple. In the 90s, I drank a lot of Snapple, and I memorized all the facts inside the caps. So, who's got a question for me? Hey, Steven, how do I become a grown-up? That's easy, Max. Just go to a carnival, find a machine called Zoltar, make a wish to be big, then have a physical relationship with an adult woman that, looking back at it decades later, actually seems kind of disturbing. <laughs> Next question. Hi, Steven. Why does an ant want to live in an ant hill? Great question, Fiona. It's because an ant is right there in the name Ant Hill. It's the same reason dogs like to live in dog houses, bats live in bat caves, and platypuses live in platypalazzos. <laughs> Who's next? Hi, Stephen. How do you stop dictators like Kim Jong-un? Well, Felix, you're already on the right track because the best way to distract and thus disable a dictator is with a stuffed moose wearing socks. The dictator will see it and say, wait, is that a moose? You know the thing about a moose that I never know is what's the plural for it? Is it moose? Is it meese? Is it meeses? Anyway, what was I thinking about? Something about canceling elections and setting up camps? I forget. I need to know more about this moose. And while he's distracted, you and your buddies stab him to death in the Roman Forum. <laughs> Next question. How did you learn about quantum physics? Charlie, I learned about quantum physics the old-fashioned way, by getting into my elementary school teacher's magic school bus and being shrunken down to the size of a quark. Oh, she also taught me about space by sending us to Mars and about the human body by injecting us into a classmate's bloodstream. She was eventually arrested and is awaiting execution. Who's next? Stephen, what's your favorite Australian animal? Ooh, that's a tough one, Adelaide, but... I have to say, my favorite Australian animal is the wolverine. Although I'm also a big fan of the gray tufted crow and of course the short-tailed Hemsworth. Next question. Hey Steven, what's your favorite muffin? My favorite muffin? Wow, Whew, that is tough. Um, I know I'm supposed to say Paul or John, but in my heart, it's George. Who's got another question for me? Hey, Stephen, why do you lose hair when you grow older? Good question, Ethan. Well, it turns out that hair is just like children. When it gets old enough, it wants to leave home and explore the world. In fact, that emotional journey is the basis of the new Pixar movie. And I'm being told we have a clip. Mom, Dad, thank you for everything you've done for me all these years. But it's finally time for me to leave my follicle and go to a place where I truly belong. It's hard to see you go, Harold. But we're so proud of you for following your dreams. Well, this is my gust of wind. Don't want to miss it. We, we love, love you, you Harold. Harold. Goodbye, son. Ah! Oh, my God. The shower drain. It's just as beautiful as I pictured it. <laughs> is it possible to be so happy that you cry? Next question. How does it feel to be famous? Greatest question I have ever heard, Xander. Thank you. And for the perspective on what it feels like to be famous, I'm going to throw it to someone very famous. Take it away, John Cena. Well, Xander, I got to say, it's kind of like being on a giant ride. You know, you're sitting there while this big machine spins you around, and sometimes you're way up high, and uh, well, sometimes you're down low. But, you know, you just keep on spinning up and down and up and down. It's, so many lights and uh, wait, did, did you ask me what it's like to be famous or what it's like to be on a Ferris wheel? Well, either way, you're gonna feel like you're thrown up. Thank you, Mr. Cena. Okay, I think we have time for one last question. 
Steven, why do people go crazy sometimes? Simple, Joseph. People go crazy sometimes because we're too tired to go crazy all the time. Well, kids, I hope that answered all your questions. And parents, if your kids have questions at home, please post a video to social media with the hashtag Colbert Kid Questions or submit a video at the link below. We just might feature it in our next installment of... The Thanks, kids. When we come back, Arnold Schwarzenegger takes the Colbert questionnaire.